this is Lee, the creator of the Isotonic BCR XL script for the BCR 2000. In this video, I'm going to take you through the updates that have been made to version 2 of the script, which should be available shortly. First off, we've made some changes to the control buttons over here. Track navigation has been moved up here to use the bottom two buttons of the encoder groups. This means that you only get access to two encoder groups now. However, with an option, you can turn this off if you are using Isotonic Launch Sync and the BCR is slaved to another controller, in which case you don't need the track navigation buttons. They can be turned off and you get all four encoder groups back. In version one of the script, these bottom four buttons were used to control most of the actions. You can still do that if you so desire although there is an option now to use these four buttons allowing you to free these up for your own user mapping so I've got this set up using the four buttons here now and these aren't used apart from indirect mapping which we'll discuss shortly functionality wise we now have access to all of the sends so if I go and add a new return track here as before we see the bottom row of lights light up showing that we can control that if we add another one now then this button over here lights up and we have access to the sends via banking so I can now switch to the second bank or the second lot of three sends and back we have also added track fold and unfold so if I group these tracks together now see that this button lights up here showing me that it's grouped and I can press this button to toggle the grouping on and off. In version 1 of the script we had the top row of buttons controlling mute which is still the same and the bottom row of buttons controlled solo and the push encoders were used to control arm. We've made this configurable in this version of the script so that you can swap around the arm and the solo functionality if you want visual feedback on the arm rather than on the solo. So we've got that turned on for this demonstration. So the bottom row of buttons now controls arm and we get visual feedback and the push encoders are used to control solo. For instrument and device operation, we've made it configurable to allow all 32 encoders to be used for device control. Now, previously when entering device mode, the top row of encoders were still used for volume control, but now we can use all four rows for instrument and device control. So if I enter device mode now, you can see that I can control all 32 parameters at once. For accessing the device banks, we've also added a direct bank mode, which is optional and if enabled, then the bottom four buttons here are used when in device mode to directly access the banks. So normally we would bank up and down using the bank up and down buttons. But if this option is on, then we can access the first four banks directly, depending on how many parameters the device has. If the device has more than four banks, then we can still use the bank up and down to access banks five and onwards. So that covers the new functionality in version two of the script. This is a free update to all existing script owners, and we hope this gives you more control options for your BCR. We've got some more updates planned in the short term, some exciting stuff on the way and we're also going to be adding support for the BCF 2000 in the short term as well. So if you've got one of those you'll be able to pair it up with your BCR. Thanks for your support and we'll have more news in the near future.